that's enough work for today. Let's just save it here and go to bed. Oh, that's cute. She said she would wait for me to be done, but she fell asleep. I am just going to carefully get in the bed. I don't want to wake you. <laughs> Look at you, sleeping peacefully with a smile on your face. Probably dreaming about me. You are dreaming about me, right? <laughs> just kidding. You never stop telling me that I'm the girl of your dreams. But I wish I could tell you just how much I love you, just like you always say such beautiful things to me. It's not that I don't care about you. I do. More than you could possibly imagine. But this is the first time I've felt like this about anyone. All of this is so new to me. I just don't want to ruin what we have by saying the wrong thing, or messing up the words and having you misunderstand me. You make me jealous sometimes, because you have no fear or shame about saying all these wonderful things about me. Whenever we meet new people, you always casually introduce me as your cute girlfriend. I still remember the time you invited me to come with you to a friend's wedding. The groom asked who you were with, and you told him you were with the most beautiful girl at that party. Right in front of the bride. <laughs> I can still feel my cheeks glowing bright red, and me casually slapping your arm and dragging you away. I was so embarrassed. But you? You just had the goofiest, cutest smile on your face. Like you were proud of everything you said. Even then, when I tried to act mad, you always like to tease me afterwards. It's only when I actually get upset that you start apologizing. Even though you really didn't do anything wrong. If anything, I should be apologizing. I want to be able to express how much you mean to me. Not just when we're alone, but when we're in public. I want to tell people that I have the best, most beautiful girlfriend. But I can't bring myself to say it like you do. The happiest day of my life was when you decided to come talk to me. I always thought that you were cute. Every time I saw you come into the coffee shop, I always tried to bring myself to come talk to you. And every day I would watch you walk away with the same coffee in your hand. One day, I was really upset about something. I can't remember what it was, but I do remember trying to hold my tears back. That's when you came and sat next to me, asking me if I was okay. I was so shocked I didn't even realize that I had a tear rolling down my cheek. But you were really kind to me. You just grabbed a napkin from the counter and gently wiped that tear away. You asked me if it was okay if you sat next to me, and all I could do was nod. Even without knowing me, you always seemed to know what to say to make me laugh and make me feel better. Before I knew it, we had been talking for hours. I did my best to continue the conversation because I didn't want that moment to end. So I was a bit disappointed when we said goodbye and headed in different directions. I was ready to give up on you when I heard footsteps running towards me. I turned around and there you were, all out of breath. You asked me for my number and asked if we could hang out again. I was so nervous that my phone was shaking in my hand. It's been a year since then. Time flew by and now we're here living together. You're always doing that, you know? Every time I feel uneasy or nervous... You're always there to support me. I don't know how I managed everything before I met you, but having you by my side makes me feel like I can do anything. I love you so much. I hope you know that. Hmm. If only I was brave enough to do that when you're awake. I want to look you in the eyes and tell you that I love you. That you mean the world to me. I couldn't imagine my life with anyone else. 
And whenever you're ready to take that next step, I would say yes without hesitation. But I know it's a big step, and I don't want to pressure you. But whenever you are ready, I would be happy to be your wife. Just say the word, and I am all yours. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Your smile got bigger. Like you heard every word I just said. Wait a minute. Are you awake? Hey, don't try to hide that smile. You're awake, right? Um, how much of that did you hear? You've been awake since I walked in? So you heard everything? Ah! Don't look at me right now. I am so embarrassed. I mean, I wanted you to know all that. I want you to know how I feel about you, but I wanted you to do it when I was ready. Please, I don't want to look at you or have you see me like this. Hey, that's not fair. <sighs> you know how much I love it when you do that. Put your arms around me tightly and hold me close. Okay, I forgive you. Just don't do that again, please. If I'm going to pour my heart out, at least let me know that you're listening so that I know what to say. Of course I meant everything I said. I wanted you to know how I feel about you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You always seem to know how to make me happy. Of course you know how much I love you. But I want to make sure you hear it directly from me. I'll try to say it more often, so that you never have any doubt of how much I love you. Now, you need to get back to sleep. It's pretty late, and we have to wake up early tomorrow. Hey, I didn't say you could let go. Hold me like this, at least until you fall asleep. <laughs> Thank you for always being there for me. I love you. Hmm. <sighs>